What's up gamers, it's your boy Executor back again bringing you this breakdown of Black Ops 4 specialists. We're gonna take a look at all the specialists in Black Ops 4 so let's hop into it. Starting off, we have Ajax. This guy is a breacher. It says breach enemy entrenchments and clear a path for your team through strategic use of the ballistic shield and powerful nine bank stun grenades. As you can see, this guy has a ballistic shield right here and he has a nine bag so let's take a look at the ballistic shield right so as you can see like this guy is a good option if you're gonna be playing hard point or domination and you want to rush into a spot eliminate some enemies take over that spot or that hard point you can do it with this guy as you can see no bullets can hit you because this thing is massive this thing covers your whole body the only way you can get shot while using this ballistic shield is if they shoot you from the side or from the back so once you know where your enemy is at then you're good to go rush in pop the shield load put your pistol through the little hole and you start blasting fools man all right that's it for this here's a breakdown of the ballistic shield durable transforming defensive shield with a built-in machine pistol and the schema goes excels at assaulting enemy positions clear crowded rooms easily go into ads for better protection powerful machine pistol is full auto so there you have it for ajax's ballistic shield let's look at his nine bank and this is a special issue nine bank all right it says tactical grenade that flashes and stuns can be cooked to detonate multiple times and the schema goes hinder enemies hearing and vision stun enemies in rooms at objectives charge up to three detonations stunned enemies can still hip fire let's take a look at it in action in full screen that guy's stunned you wipe him out and you wipe his body out so i gotta say the flashbang in this game it's very effective because you cannot move it's more effective than what we have seen in previous Call of Duty games. At least in previous Call of Duty games, you could at least like move a little bit or crouch or stuff like that. But in this game, you cannot move whatsoever. All right. So that's it for Ajax's nine bang. All right. In action, tips and tricks. All right. Well, this part is locked, I guess, because it's because of the beta. And these parts are locked as well. Okay. So let's take a look at battery. As you can see, this is her here. We all know her from Black Ops 3 with the um, war machine. This thing is very deadly. I've used it a couple times and um, yeah, I've gotten a couple kills. All right, her bio goes, use explosive firepower to rain down hell and clear an enemy stronghold quickly using a combination of war machine and cluster grenades. Let's take a look at the war machine. High explosive grenade launcher. And the schema is massive shell has a large area of effect can bounce off walls around corners arc shells from a distance over cover devastates enemy score streaks easily destroys enemy equipment let's take a full screen view of it as you can see she comes in wipes out this room totally she just devastated them with this war machine two kills right there one more kill chalk it up let's roll baby this is a very powerful specialist equipment let's take a look at the cluster grenade powerful explosive grenades that stick to surfaces and releases sub munitions upon detonation the schema sticks to floor ceilings walls sticks to enemies for extra damage initial explosion can kill in one hit sub munitions scatter causing chaos large threat radius let's take a look at it in full screen all right so she comes in tosses one blows up particles falls off blows up and kill another guy look at that throws a cluster grenade kills one guy particles blow up another guy and it bounces all around the place so this thing is deadly if you're playing games like domination as you can see right here in this clip or hard point or control the new game mode which i'm gonna have a video up soon y'all want to check out that this is a very good specialist to run with awesome stuff man all right we're moving on here we go crash support your team with instant health buffs and ammo resupplies that accelerate the earning of score streaks when timed correctly these actions can can turn the tide of a battle let's take a look at his equipment let's look at attack 5 heals boots max health and removes wounds for the user and their team right and the schema goes heals and boosts max hp helps crash and his whole team does not need to be aimed works through walls no range limit also clear wounds so very effective equipment you get 50 health bonus puts you up to 200 health your teammate gets a health boost as well and you get 50 points per teammate that is alive at the time that gets a health boost it's one of the better equipments for the specialists in black ops 4 
Let's look at the assault pack. Deploys ammo packs that provide bonus score for taking down enemies. Schema is can use assault pack while in motion. Give score boosting golden ammo. Golden ammo lasts your whole life. Combos well with cosmic device. Also give spear magazines. Let's take a look at it in full screen mode. All right, so and you get extra score for killing somebody. So you get 100 right there. But with the assault pack, you get 150 for an objective kill. So you're getting one and a half times what you would get with a kill without the assault pack being equipped and as you saw in the schema it lasts for your whole life so once you die this erases but once you're alive you'll get 150 points per kill for an objective based kill so that's it for this guy moving on let's take a look at firebreak we all remember him from black ops 3 yeah they're coming back but they're good that's why they brought them back it's not like they didn't have time to work on these things let's not bash them why they brought these specialists back is because they were popular people like them and they make sense for good gameplay so i'm not bashing treyarch man they did massive work on this game moving on let's look at this guy all right use tactics of area denials to clear strategic locations with devastating doses of radiation from the reactor core or the cleansing flames of the purifier flamethrower all right let's look at the purifier it goes flamethrower that shoots steady goat of flame scorching enemies within close range schema lethal flame skill efficiently clear rooms by sweeping left and right inflict wounds preventing healing flame reaches full length after delay has surprising range let's take a look at it in full action so this guy comes in opens up the flamethrower that's one that's two and they do not stand a chance once this thing starts hitting them it's over because it obscures their vision they can't see to shoot you it burns them up as quickly as deadly all right reactor core emits a damaging radiation field that wound enemies reducing their max health for a time and preventing healing the schema reads radiation goes through cover and walls attack crowded interiors from outside inflict wounds preventing healing can move slowly while in use second stage has bonus damage range second stage drains your health has surprising vertical range all right let's take a look at it in full screen all right so this guy runs up three people are inside he pops out his radiation core he pours it on people start dying through the wall you don't even have to be inside that's how deadly this thing is three kills without putting your life at risk you're not in a gunfight people are on the domination flag you run up you stay outside of their reach and you turn this thing on burns them up man this is deadly all right we're moving on nomad the guy with the dog here we go turn the environment against your foes through the tactical placement of mesh mines dispatch your trusted canine unit companion to hunt down the filthy enemy dogs that escapes your trap let's look at his equipments canine unit attack dog that can be commanded to either follow you or patrol a designated location K9 defaults to follow mode. Press L1 and R1 to set to patrol mode. Wrecks havoc and creates chaos. Trusted wingman watches your back. Pretty straightforward. Let's look at it in full screen. So you call him out. He goes on a hunt. You know, bites one guy there. Oh, another guy. Oh, bites him in his butt. Oh man, too bad for you, bro. People probably think this dog is OP'd, but there are ways to counter that. I have videos on how to counter all of these specialists. I'm gonna have a video on that as well. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet a lot more call of duty black ops 4 gameplays tutorial breakdowns is coming soon all right so that's it it's a dog you call him out you can have him follow you or you can set him to attack you know pretty straightforward moving on mesh mine deploys explosive traps that connect to create lethal trip wires the schema goals can place two mines per charge can connect up to four mines separate mines to lengthen trip wire plant mines apart cover two points slingshot at enemy for minor damage let's look at the video at what you do is you set one there you set one there it connects the wire it's a laser wire people run through it they explode and based on the schema you can probably put one more to the right and one more to the left so it will make like a crisscross if you're holding a spot down if you're camping or should we say being tactical then this is the thing to have man this is like your bones and betty this is like your claymore this is the thing to have if you're being strategic all right so that's gonna be it for nomad all right moving along we have profit we all know him from black ops 3 he's back let's see what he's rocking with this time autonomous seeker mines track down unsuspecting enemies while you neutralize hostile formations with high voltage electric blasts from your tempest rifle let's look at it so we have the tempest rifle here 
a tactical style rifle that shoots electrically charged shock rounds. And the schema reads, shock rounds incapacitate enemies. Shocked enemies forced into crawl. Victims take damage over time. Electricity can chain from victims. Has excellent accuracy while ADS. Let's take a look at it in the full screen. All right, guys, for some reason, these videos aren't working has nothing to do on my part but the video must go on basically the tempest is the electricity gun that we are used to in black ops 3 here's a little gameplay which i recorded of me using the tempest basically what it does when you shoot these guys with the electric shock it destabilizes them that allows you to run in and um, get the kill or your teammates can get the kill you will get points i'm gonna have a video up on each specialist some gameplay so that can help you guys get a better understanding get a better feel of how these specialists actually perform in game by myself y'all can stay tuned so you can check that out these videos aren't working so has nothing to do with my part i'm trying to press them to open Open them but nothing's happening treyarch if you're watching this video you might want to have a look at these videos they aren't opening all right so that's it for the tempest the seeker shock mine a rolling shock mine that seeks enemy players paralyzing them on contact schema hunts down enemies autonomously electrically stuns one target victims can trigger a fast recovery force snipers from their hiding spots follow seeker to your next encounter you toss this thing on the ground it gets rolling. You can follow it around to see who it comes in contact with. You can pop off some shots. Man down. Get moving. On to the next victim. Alright, so that's it for this profit, weapons, and special issue. Alright, so we're moving on. Right here we have the recon. Bio goes. Intel wins wars. Expose your foes' movements to your team with the powerful intelligence gathering capabilities of your sensor darts and vision pulse. Okay, let's take a look at it. Vision pulse. Pulse the map to reveal all enemies for yourself and teammates. Schema. Enemies are visible through walls. You and your team see marked foes. Combos well with intel perks and gear. Mark enemies know they are marked. Take a look at it in full action. This thing, again, awesome specialist equipment. This thing lights them up like a Christmas tree. You can see them through walls. Basically, you can pre-fire or you can ADS. Moment they touch that door or the edge of that door, you can pop off some rounds. If you're using a sniper, psh, boom, it's, it's a no-brainer. One hit kill to the upper chest or the head, you're good to go. As you can see, that guy shoots that guy through the wall. Boom, man down, moving on. Sensor dart, this is a special issue. Sensor equipment that reveals enemies in its proximity. Schema, watch key areas, paths, objectives. Periodic pulses, clear fog of war. Plant sensor dart in hard to see spots. Take advantage of the dart's gun's range. Let's look at it in action, right? So you fire the dart, as you can see on the top left hand of the map right there, it lights them up. Without that, it wouldn't light them up, right? So once they're in the range of the dart, they become a Christmas tree on the map. You're good to go. You're good to mow them down it's like a uav to a confined area that's what it is they won't know that this thing is out there because they, they won't hear enemy uav online no they won't hear anything like that you fire the dart they're unaware of what's going on you roll in for the kill boom 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 man down moving on all right we have the ruin right here lead the charge with the superior agility and mobility provided by your grapple gun destroy your enemies head on with the devastating power of the grav slam all right we all know what the grav slam is let's take a look at it if you don't remember kinetic device that delivers a lethal blast radius around the point of impact the schema can be activated while in the air shockwave has a large blast radius excellent at clearing an objective if killed you will not lose all energy destroy enemy equipment take a look at it in full view right so three guys just got blown to smithereens just off a of one gravity slam and you get a bonus for taking the objective as well it's like you're using a scotch bright man and you go into the kitchen and you start doing some cleaning you just wipe them out that's what it is man grapple gun I know you're all familiar with it but let's take a look at it as well quickly grapple and zip the locations nearby the schema reads quickly assault an area catch an enemy off guard create flanking opportunities traverse the high windows roofs 
take shortcuts across gaps. Take a look at it in full action. Slide over this guy. You go behind him. Boom, boom, boom. He's dead. By the time you turn around, you already got the drop on him. He's dead meat on the floor. All right, we're moving on. Right here, we have Seraph. Control the flow of battle using attack deploy beacon. Keeping your squad mates in the action. Execute the enemy with precision shots from the annihilator pistol. We all know what the annihilator pistol is. Let's take a look at it. Massive high caliber revolver that fires devastating rounds with increased bullet penetration the schema reads one shot kill at all distances shoots high penetration rounds excellent accuracy in ads strong damage to enemy score streaks high skill ceiling requires finesse can kill multiple enemies in one shot that's one shot kill from any range man boom that guy's like 15 foot away and then it's one shot kill Special issue tag deploy. Deploy beacon that allows your teammates to redeploy to the surrounding area. Schema, reinforce team positions. Deploy near objectives to help team win. Place in out of the way spots. Can be destroyed by interaction. Spawn select menu warns of enemies. All right, let's take a look at it. So the tag deploy beacon, you put it down. All right, so that guy died and he respawns on the beacon if he chooses to. So if you're playing an objective, you slap this thing down. If people get skilled, they respawn on the beacon right you're not left by yourself to capture the objective they pick up from where they left off and they start capturing the objective as well with you all right we're moving on last but not least torque man i gotta say this guy's my favorite specialist so far as you can see I have 66 kills with barricade and 27 kills with barbed wire my most successful so far let's look at it bio build barricades to reinforce your squad's position while deploying razor wire to funnel the enemy's movements into your team's crossfire all right let's take a look at the barricade deploy reinforced cover for protection while securing objects built-in microwave field slows and damages enemies and the schema reads create instant cover when you need it fortify key positions and objectives slowing radiation sets up easy kills block off key paths disrupting enemies let's look at it in action so you drop this thing down it starts frying them they're burning up you only need minimal shots to kill them and matter of fact this thing can take people out with devastating effect you slap this thing down at an entry point that you know people are going to be rushing towards the objective or you just know okay those guys are going to spawn over there let me slap this thing down they come running through that door they start frying like an egg in a frying pan guys this thing is deadly highly recommend this specialist it's my favorite specialist so far all the specialists are good in my opinion there's one and two are like eh, not so good but for the most part all the specialists specialists are worthwhile using but for the most part torque any play style any game mode this guy's a monster it's the most effective one i think this is the best specialist in the game but moving on let's look at the razor wire defensive razor wire damages and slow enemies that attempt to cross it the schema goes blocks off halls stairs and doorways placed by windows and around corners hit markers alert you to the enemies in wire expands or contracts to fill the space let's take a look at it in action all right as you can see this guy's trying to get through the razor wire he runs up it starts cutting him he's trying to force his way through took like two shots to finish him off that's how this thing works man this thing good for blocking off hallways stairs windows as a schema red thing is a monster man as i said i think torque is the best specialist in the game as it is right now that's gonna be it for this video guys we take a look at ajax battery crash fire break nomad profit recon ruin seraph and torque 10 specialists for you guys to play with in black ops 4 10 awesome specialists hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found it helpful leave a like leave a comment in the section below let me know what you think about the video if you haven't subscribed yet slap that subscribe button you're gonna want to stay tuned for more black ops 4 in-depth black ops 4 gameplay videos and black ops 4 analysis gun guides perk guides everything i got it coming for y'all man stay tuned to this channel hits your boy executor i'm out peace